So we've got feed, water, heat, shavings, pen. What else are we missing? Oh, that's right. Come here, dudes. So we are only a few days away from taking these guys on a little trip to the middle part of Indiana. We've had their, their vet check done. We've got their pedigrees done. Somebody asked me the other day what my expectations were for these guys. Up until this point, I think they've done what I would have expected them to do in terms of growth rate. Obviously, Mama said has put a good litter on the ground. I think that they would make a good project for somebody in terms of a barrel project. But in terms of uh, boar prospects, that might be an issue going down to this particular sale. You know, we had to keep at least two boars back, and so we didn't get a chance to uh, to cut these guys, and so they're boars. It, it, won't, it shouldn't make any difference in the placing, but I do think it might make a difference in terms of saleability going down to these sales. A lot of those potential buyers uh, don't want to go through the process of castrating a boar to get a barrel, but not really the primary reason we're taking these guys down. We're taking them down to kind of get a barometer on quality, where we're at, you know, how Mama says stacks up in terms of, of a, uh, maybe a, a show pig sire or a show pig mama, and kind of that's where we're at. You boys ready to go down to a show? Yeah, I think they're ready. Yeah. What do you think? Good. Are they ready? Hmm? They're ready. A couple days, let's go. All right, so we're on the road. On the road. Eight hours in front of us, but it's cold. Cold, but clear. Nine degrees, windshields at four below. Take exit 138. You have arrived. We made it! Indiana, here we go! So we came, what, two states over? 25 degrees and it's snowing out, but we finally made it. We're here in Lebanon. Let's go in and see what we got going on. Just look at lamps. I'm impressed with this setup so far, right? So it's about 75 degrees in here. It's a nice area, we got it bedded packed well. It's a nice setup, right? So it looks like we've got maybe a third of the hogs in here already the night before. I think, I think we'll have like these, just be these, just one. Just one pen. Right, right. So I'll bring some shavings in, we'll get them set up. So we got them settled, they're eating, we got the water set up, the trip was good. Should we go look at the ring? Let's look at the ring. Yeah, nice setup, real nice setup. You know, Where's the sift happen? Sift will happen right out here in front. You know, one thing I've noticed with this setup that I really like is there's a lot of space out in front and that allows for a lot of, you know, it's not so tight, so a lot of visibility from a lot of different angles. This is really open, this is really nice in here. Really like it. I'm impressed. It's a great facility. I'm impressed, yeah. You know, they've been on the road for eight hours. Typically they would have eaten probably five, six, seven times already. You know, so their guts are gonna be pretty empty. Hopefully we can get them to kind of grab the feed tomorrow morning. Hey, come here boys, come on. Yeah, like, eh, we'll just sift through it. Probably won't need a whole lot. Hey guys. It's like a place to spend a Friday night.
I am putting together the information board, aka the marketing board, just to give, just a good to have, good to have some information on these pigs, right? So that anybody that wants to look at them can know exactly where they're from, right what there, they right? are. That is Mama said. And then we've got the closer bowl over here, which is the reason why we can participate in this sale tomorrow. So the closer is a Southern Gold stud? Yes. Simple way to do it, but it will be effective. Minnesota, like Indiana. it's gotta be 50 degrees down there. It's your weather. Cold? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how much colder, but it's saying about, it's about the same. same. It is about the same. Right, right. No joke, guys. It was. It's been 50s all week. Has it really? And tomorrow, 50. Oh, 50s again. So we brought it. Day. We brought it. You oh my gosh. The biggest thing is to try to miss any blood vessels. small operation. They said you just kind of got back into it a couple a couple years ago here? Yeah, my dad had a heart attack in 18. Um, took about a year and a half off to uh, redo the barns and fix some things. Okay, he's got kids that are going to be kind of coming into it now? Four year old and a newborn. That's awesome. So you don't get much sleep? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I work, I work yet, nights at UPS and then this during the daytime. So did you grow up kind of in the, in the show pig industry uh, then? Bought my first two gilts when I was nine years old from Southeastern Swine Genetics. Okay. Made the cut at County Fair, sold 30 minutes or so. Just fed them, got them ready, letting them chill right now. We will see what happens. Time will tell. Get a little excited. It's got to be fun. Fun to get back into a little bit. Yeah. That's what it's all about, right? It is. It is. What do you think? A 
little bit of a surprise. You never, you never expect to go down to a show and like pull a banner or pull a championship sign. So champion and reserve right here, right? Champion and reserve. Champion and reserve. Yep. So we'll go back in for overall. You know, but yeah, they look good out there. We got sale order in. They're going to do gilts first. We have 54 gilts and we have 40 boars. And so they'll sell all the gilts first. And we've got the sale order for the for the males. And looks like we, yep, so we were third overall. And so we'll sell third and what, 15th. So, yeah, so we followed the cross. He was competitive in the, he was competitive in the championship drive, but just got to be out by two good crosses. Yeah, it's a good spot, good spot to be. Today, Dennis, we didn't sell either one of them, even though we were third in the sale order. If you're going to sell to a 4 H family, that requires them to have to go home and castrate that pig. And so we knew that going down. The main thing is we use this as a barometer. And I'm, I gotta admit, I am super impressed. You know, first time out, third overall. You know, that's Grand and Reserve. Grand and Reserve York. York. I'm very, very impressed with that. Back from Indiana, a couple days removed here. Let's see if he's here. Right. Hey, how goes it? Oh, the pop in. You're late. That was, was quite the trip, wasn't it? It was a fun trip. It was a blast. It really kind of covered what we were hoping to get out of it. Seeing how those pigs stack up. And granted, you know, for being honest, the, the quality was good. I wouldn't say it was fantastic. It wasn't great. It wasn't top notch, but it was good. You know, good enough to feel good, good about the, the result. Anytime you go to any of those sift or, or sales that's multi state, the, the top couple percent are going to be good. Right. And they were. But just the fact that we could take the two bottom males out of litter down, they were in the top, you know, the top three pigs. For the males, the top males. three. York, the which was side. actually, we went back and looked at the video. That champion that we took down was the small pig that oh, came out of mom's. Right. Yep. Do, I, do you remember when she first had her litter? I asked you, is he going to make it? Because he, he was on the very back. He was on the very back. Is it that little one right there? He was the smallest by far. And, and he's the champion. He, 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 champion. champion. Right. And so what will he become now? So here? we brought, yeah, obviously we didn't sell him. The fair projects for Mike. So, so become a county fair barrel. barrel? Right. County fair barrel. All right. So we'll get a chance. Right. Uh, the three guys he got left here, plus the five gilts. Yeah. What happens to the guys? Five gilts still in the nursery. The other three still in the nursery. We're going to keep. The one that shows the best commercial quality, so he's gonna go straight back into the herd. If we have one or two that we think has the potential to maybe be shown, sure. Well, we had fun. Hey, but back to work. We gotta get. We gotta try to get a, a space for it. Not only the fair page, well, but we, we gotta talked get about on the way home. Space. The fitting. You've got a space in the back where you're actually gonna make me work and try to convert that into a fitting area. Right now. So, all right, I don't want to work. I'll see you later. Um, I'll I'll come back when there's when there's At coffee on and, and, uh, and 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 I'll be gone. But no, nah, I'm just kidding. I suppose I can help you. I kind of want to put that sign up. <laughs> it represents some memories, right? And that's what every sign, every plaque, every banner represents memories and that was the first trip down in a while that we've been to a hog show your first trip to a major hog show so it, it represents memories so I, yeah let's put it up, let's put it up. <laughs>